Hi guys, um, today I've got for you um, a, a talk with uh, a Shauna Netta speaker. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi guys. Um, my name is Michael Mtuguzi and I'm from Zim. Proudly Shauna as well. Yeah, okay, um, yeah with Ralph, eh? <laughs> that, that, that's very good. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what what what's your earliest memory from like growing up? Um, it, where uh, where you, where you stayed in in Zim? Um, did everyone speak Shona or was it a mix? Yeah, where I grew up, everyone was talking Shona, and Shona is the like like we are from Zim. Shona is the yeah. mother language, and after Shona there's Debele, but yeah. everything we're doing we're doing in Shona, playing as kids, yeah. growing yeah. up, going to school. Yeah, at school we, we started to learn English and and other stuff as we grew up. Yeah, yeah we yeah, but, but other Shona language. is always your language. Yeah, that's my mother language. Yeah. Okay. Shona. Um, yeah, because what was very interesting that they say that um, if you speak to someone in a language they know, mm. you can get across a message. But if you speak in in the native language, mm. you you can re re make an impact on on someone because that that's the language that yeah. that they feel. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, another interesting thing about language is the the policies of language and education. Exactly. Um, because for, for me, my native language is English, mm. and I went to school in English. So you you never feel like your language is weird or anything. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. Uh, but in school, were you taught in Shona or were you taught in English? Um, there were different subjects, but uh, mainly Shona was the only subject we, are, we will be doing in Shona. Yeah. When it comes to maths, English, um, content, they call it content when you're still <laughs> young. Um, yeah, I mean, we were doing it in English, so okay. it made us to, to, to grow up and know what's going on. And, okay, yeah. and but, but how, did that, how did that feel? Did that make it more, more difficult or, or what? Do not do it in your native language? Um, it made us wiser, oh, okay. you know, because it's good to know, because it's, to it's like, we have to expand uh, other languages and stuff, and yeah, you yeah. grow up in knowing what's good and what's bad, okay. in those, through those languages and stuff, yeah, so, as English, it's a universal language, yeah, yeah. at least if, if I didn't learn English by that time, I couldn't talk to you, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> so, that's the good thing, um, it's, it's, it's good, um, Having English aside as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm just checking everything in in li in line. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then, then I see you. You. Yeah. You in frame. I don't. I don't want you to do like half your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, um, okay. Yes. Um, but but like um, to to what degree would would you say your 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 language has, has, has affected your life? Because um, what what's funny is that um, people who only speak one language, like mm. espe especially people uh, in a in a country that has some kind of dominant culture. So mm. if you look at America or you look at Germany or you look at Spain or whatever, yeah. a lot of people there speak one language. Mm. You know, and mm. I suppose that it, it applies to to a lot of countries, but. Um, like um, when when you when you were growing up, did you did you count in Shona in your head, or or did you also count in English? Uh, um, was it was tricky though. There are some subjects who we have to count in Shona. Oh, okay. Then obviously English will be on top. Yeah. Because yeah. they also wanted to groom us to from Shona. To know other people's culture and yes. and everything and having to learn some other languages, it's only when we grew up because we had uh, different languages to to go on with, um, um, like French. Yeah, they used to teach us uh, French when we were still little at school okay. and uh, English as well. Yeah. yeah, in Portuguese, like you know, in, yes. in Zim, we are next to Mozambique, and yeah. Mozambique they talk uh, Portuguese. Yes. So it was easy for us to interact with other people in okay. other um, religions and other, um, what should I say, other nationalities. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, and like, um, how, uh, how much of that uh, do you think you still remember now? And um, like of the Portuguese and the French? Ish. 
uh, yo, the French is totally, totally, totally out. <laughs> um, but the, um, the Portuguese, I can hear some some words and try to put in a sentence. Yeah. Yeah, because I also had friends from Mozambique. It's yeah. only now when I moved this side now, I couldn't meet those people who speak um, um, Portuguese more often. Oh, okay. Yeah, but one or two words, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that's funny. Um, and and English, um, they they use English a lot in in Zimbabwe in the government, don't don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, mostly mostly English is the is our second language. We adopted yeah. English. Yeah, it's oh, our second language. Oh, okay, so so by the, by the time by the time you came to South Africa, English wasn't a a, a problem for you. It wasn't a problem. Okay, I I, I could speak. Uh, fluent English and yeah I man it was it's it's I never had a problem with English. Oh, okay. Only when I was still in grade one, very young, being taught yes. how to speak English. Yes, yes. It would be like a surprise to you, you know. Yes, yes. Learning in another language and you don't even know Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um and and so when um when when you meet when you meet different people um and you ask them like where they're from and they say Zimbabwe, do you, do you then try to show with them or do you ask them how, how does it work? Yeah, um, if if someone says he or she is in Zim, firstly I'll be having joy and pride that yes. I met with my sister or brother in a foreign country. Yeah. Uh, mostly we speak in, in our language. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's good to speak in your language, especially yes. in a foreign country. Yeah. You yes. know, you'll be having like you have your blood sister or your yes, yes. blood brother. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, you'll be having so much joy, man. Yes, yes. To, to to speak um, with someone in Shona or whether in Debele or yeah. Uh, okay. Um. And and you you said um someone also lives here is in Debele. Um. How how close is Debele to Shona? Are there some words that are similar or? or um. Few words. Yeah. Few words are similar. Just like uh, Kosa and Zulu, yeah, yeah. there are similar words you can identify. Identify in Kosa, they'll be speaking it in Zulu, but in in just a, it's a slightly, slightly different way. way. Yeah, can yeah. you give us an example? Uh, in Debel and Shona, or, yes, yes. Um, Amanzi, like Amanzi, Amanzi. that's Mvura. With with Shona, yeah, Mvura Shona in Shona. Then in Debele, it's Amaz Amazamba and Zo. We call it those nuts. Uh, yeah, Amazamba and in Shona, it's um. In Shona, we call it in Zungu. Oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> it's 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 a bit similar yes, for us, and, and you understand what the person wants to say. And and um, uh, what is the word for water? Is it also Amaz? Um, in Debele, yeah. Uh, and, and in Shona? In Shona it's Mvura. Uh, you see, so it's in Debele as well from Zim, from our um, culture and yeah. stuff. It's similar to Zulu. It's similar to Kosa. Yeah, yeah. So it's easy for Ndebele to adopt to, yeah. to, to, to local language as well. Yeah. From, yeah. Yes, and um, in, in Kosa um, they, they say Ndetele. They, they've got the Ndi in, in, in the beginning. And I noticed in, in Shona you also yeah. have that. Yeah, the the ND we usually use them. Yeah, it's, um, like in Devi Shamari. What is that? Devi Shamari is like hi, my friend. Okay. Shamari is like a friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Shona. Yeah. Devi, it's it's um, it's like a is slang. That... Our slang we are using nowadays, like Devi. Oh, okay. Like hi, our our hi in yeah yeah, yeah in Shona. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and and also something that that that. Um, also happens with languages is you've got different dialects and you've got different accents. Um, how similar or different is in Shona and different parts of Zim? Have you moved much around? In yeah, yeah, I've been moving around in Zim. They are, um, like, it depends with the tribes as well. Yes, yes. They, there are so many tribes, I think. So, uh, there, so where did you grow? I grew up in the uh, eastern side of uh, Zim. Okay. That's near Mozambique and it's um, Tari. Oh, okay. But my rural area is uh, in Murewa, oh, just okay. after um, um, Harare, the okay. capital city. Um, we took um, uh, Zezuru. Oh, okay. That's like uh, the, the 
that's what they call the proper shona. Ah, okay. If, if it's a, if you are a um, zezuru, yeah, zezuru. Yeah. Then when I, where I grew up uh, from my mother's side, um, where she came from, it's like uh, the eastern part. They got their own, own culture in their own yeah. languages, or different yeah. from uh, the the zezurus. Yeah, you know, and uh, we got so many, man. We got so many because we got uh, Tonga, we got um, um, Makwiri Kwiri, they call it Makwiri Kwiri, yeah. and we got Ndevele, those Ndevele is all, yeah, yeah, yeah. they talk Ndevele and Makore Kore. Okay, and and how much of it would you say is, is Shona, and how much is it just a different language? Um, it's, it's Shona, but the way they call some other words is different from... What what do you call what what what, what we see it, 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 um, in in the shona, real shona, the zezuru yeah. shona. Because yeah, yeah. the zezuru shona is the that shona in our books. Yeah. Yeah. School books. Oh, that's okay. the that's what they call real shona. Oh, and that real shona it's is from mazezuru. Oh, okay. And that mazezuru is um most of the people I I would say three quarters of um zim people they are yeah. zezurus. Yes, because that's where the 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 the, the Shona's brand from. Yeah, yeah. to to the different uh, parts of the country and so many different cultures as well. Uh, okay, yeah. um, and what what kind of slang do you, do you have in in Shona? Sorry, a uh, slang like 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 funny word you only use with with friends hey. or like at school and the teacher said no no don't say that. Yo, so many. <laughs> there are so many. Now with uh, we are now in twenty first century, man. The words yeah. are coming each and every day. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I mean the generation also with the generation gap. Yes. Things will be. Will are there are there some things you say that that the kids don't say or the kids say? Yeah, yeah. We got a lot, man. <laughs> we got uh, things our elders say that we no longer saying. Ah, uh, okay. Now and because of. Could, it, could you give some examples of that? Um. Um, like kujga, kujga, kujga. It's like um, like eating. Oh, okay. Like eating. The elders they'll be saying uh, kujga, oh. kujga like kujga, oh, okay. kujga. That's eating, na. Right? Yeah. And uh, in slang, you say funya. I just want to funya. Oh, okay. And yeah. That funya, the elders doesn't know them. Oh, okay. And and, and, and and what did the, the other say? No, no, you must talk proper Shona. Yeah, they'll, they'll even say that to you straight. <laughs> hey, what's that? Talk proper, talk proper Shona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's it's all about culture as well. Yeah, yeah. The elders doesn't want um, our um, language to go away, man. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they want our culture to stay in, in generations and yeah. stuff. So, yeah, we, we, are, we are growing up and the generations behind us as well, they are changing yeah. each and every cha- generation. Okay. Yeah, the and, way new stuff is. And are there, are, do you find there are some words in Shona which you feel a bit old fashioned, like people don't use it anymore? And then, like, there are new words coming along? Yeah, man, loads. Man. Oh, it's loads, happening uh, all the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's happening, like I said, with the generation gap. Yes. Every generation has its own language. Yes. Has its, its own style of talking. Yes, yes. Shortcutting stuff. You okay. Know, it's like you are you are you are typing those yes. short end on WhatsApp. What what you see? What, what it it's funny because um, we we got the same in English. I, um, I, um, I, I, me and my mother uh, do it a lot. Like um, in in America, they say, "Do you want to go?" Mm. Like, "Do you want to go?" To go. Become, mm. "Do you want to go?" Um, but um, that's actually from um, in American English. Mm. A two when when two get shortened it becomes t mm-hmm. you want to go mm-hmm. um and then that eventually becomes wanna go and then that came in it came into mm-hmm. like South African English and a lot mm-hmm. of the different Englishes of, around the world but what's interesting is that in South African English we still say two we don't mm-hmm. say t two. it's a do you want to go um and so uh, w- when me and my mother are talking mm-hmm. we say do you want to go mm-hmm. um a- and um yeah, you, you, you can just make it shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, and uh, so, so I said to her, um, uh, do you want to go for a walk? But, but then I deliberately slur it and it comes out, do you want to go? Uh-huh. No, no. <laughs> People will have known what is Johnny. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. what does it mean? So, so um, 
but the interesting thing about it is, is that all lang languages are always changing mm -hmm. um, and some of it is good and some of it is bad and, yeah, and, yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it's up to people to, to decide mm. um, what it is. Um, so have, have you ever met like um, grandparents or great grandparents and like the way they talk, you think it sounds funny or, or, or different, like just the way they pronounce things? Yeah, it's, 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 it, it sounds funny now yes. when you meet an elder person yes. saying a deep, deep shona. Yes, yes. And sometimes you won't understand me. Oh. You won't understand unless you ask twice, yes. what is it? And they will automatically tell you, hey, you are, you are, you are, you are asking me something which is not right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like um, you should know this. You should know this. We, you, yeah. you grow up with this. <laughs> Don't let um, the town thing and the the social media and everything change your your culture and yeah, your yeah. your language as well. Yeah. You know, something well, like that. Yeah. Yes. Um.